then I'm gonna start approaching some people. I'm gonna stick on men today because I found women are really tricky. I'm not gonna try to do any like flirting or anything like that. I'm literally just gonna approach people, tell them they look nice, and walk away. That's it. What happened? He just said thank you, he appreciated it. Look, he looks like I'd made his day. What did you say to him? I said, um, I just wanted to say, you look very well dressed. Your blazer, the shoes, you had like a little bag and everything. I mean, you look very well dressed, very, you know, well turned out man. And he was like, ah, oh, thank you. I think he thought I was going to ask him for change or something, so. Okay, so you've seen a guy that you like. I don't, I'm not, like, I wouldn't want a relationship with him, I just think he's... Whoa, well hang made. on a minute, why are you thinking that far ahead? Well, no, just like, I just think he's an attractive guy, that's it. Right, he's so got a nice face, he's got what, a very nice face. What I think all. you should do is I think you should walk up to him yeah. and tell him that. Tell him he's got a nice face. And then say, say hi, my name's Olivia. Uh, I don't know about that, I don't know about that. I think that's a, that's a little... That's a little further ahead. Then. Okay, so scale it back then. Hi, you. I just noticed you. I think you've got a nice face. And then, and then can I leave? Yeah. Okay, alright, okay, give me a second. Okay, apparently I'm waiting too long. Uh, I've got a bad knee, so I'm not running after anybody today. That so he he ran away. <laughs> so I need to just split second decide to go and talk to somebody. I think what's difficult is I don't have a script. I don't know what I'm saying to them. If I knew what I was going to say, then it would be easy. So that's what I'm going to try come up with. I just walked up to a guy um, who's you know pretty attractive. Just said I think you're really attractive. You've got a great face. Um, and he was like, okay. And I was like. Okay, <laughs> then I was like, have a good day, and I was like, you too, and then I ran far away. I think he was with his, I think maybe looking back, I think he was with his girlfriend, and he was thinking, who's this girl? Okay, so how do you think you could deal with this situation? What do you mean, deal with this situation? Like, so right now, you're just walking up to people and they're running away? Yes, because that's easy. So what, what would you like to do next? I think the next thing that I feel, I think what I'm terrified terrified of is hanging around because right now I'm running away because... Okay. So what if we said you have to stay talking to them for 10 seconds? Okay. You think you can manage that? <laughs> yeah, let's do that 10 seconds. Okay. Okay, I just bumped into a girl who was uh, fundraising for Amnesty International and she asked what we were doing and I told her and she was like, oh, I was like, would you do this? And she was like, yeah, that's what I do all the time. Just go up to guys, ask them if they like to have a drink. And I was really shocked and I have to admit my initial reaction was, yeah, but you're young and white and pretty, so you'll be fine. But I think ultimately that's just another barrier. That's just another block for me. Um, so it's good to know there are girls out there that are already doing this and she she kind of, you know, she said, you've got my faith, you can do this, go and ask somebody. So, um, yeah, I'm really struggling with the idea of telling somebody that I'm attracted to them. I feel like that's very difficult because um, there's an amount of rejection that goes with that. It's just coming down to the rejection. I don't want to be rejected. I really just don't want it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to try that. Um, I was just talking to Tim about, um, he was saying, you know, if you do this every day, you get confident, you get really good at it very quick. And it was kind of like my singing. I remember when I was gigging like three, four times a week, it got to the point where I didn't even get nervous. And now I don't get nervous when I go and perform. I'm kind of like, I'm going to do my thing, either you like it or you don't. And I kind of wish I could bring that sort of energy to this. So maybe that's something I need to tap into and kind of. Rejection feels it feels vile. What uh, I was like, uh, can I just stop you for a minute? And he was like, yeah, what do you need? And I was just like, oh, I think you're really attractive. Or do you want to get a drink? Like, I haven't got long, but and he just went, no, I can't. And then just walked away. Oh, I feel like crying. Oh, oh, it's not, it's not a good feeling. Have you died? 
I haven't died, I'm still alive. So and I feel happened? like that's happened. I feel like it's kind of funny actually. I'm, I'm actually smiling. I don't know why I'm smiling because inside I don't feel good. But um, yeah, keep going, keep going. And like, he wasn't even that attractive. No, he was. I'm just saying that because I got rejected. He was attractive. All right, on to the next, on to the flipping next, yeah. Okay, just been rejected by a guy who's actually walking past, which just makes this even nicer. Um, I feel like, you know, when women reject men, it's kind of like, oh, I've got a boyfriend, or uh, this or that, but I feel like when you get rejected by a man, there's no reason. He's just like, no, that's it. And you, do, <laughs> you don't get any criticism or any comments, anything to work on, it's just straight up, no. Um, so that's my first time approaching a guy in the street and asking him out and I've just seen him walk back down here with a woman So maybe that could have been why but yeah, um, it got me a little bit frustrated a little bit annoyed a little bit Insecure, but you know, this is a process. So I guess I just got to keep on going um, so I kind of thought, you know, if I was brave enough to just approach a guy and ask him for his number, then, you know, the rest would be fine. But uh, I found that's not the case. That is most definitely not the case. So my final thoughts for next time are I need to approach a guy um, kind of like front on, make him stop. Firstly, I need to make him feel comfortable so he doesn't think I'm selling him something or I'm a prostitute or I want the time. And then the last thing is I need to uh, sort of show sexual interest make it less casual make it a little bit more flirty so they know you know i'm a sexual being or you know that's that's what it's about um so yeah i've got those are my things that i'm going to work on for next time so i've gone from just walking to someone paying them a compliment and walking away to walking to somebody asking them out and just seeing what happens 